Hi guys, my name is Anna and in this video I will show you our trip to Borovoye or Burabay, a beautiful natural place in Kazakhstan located in 250 kilometers from its capital Astana. And if you work and live in Astana, I will explain you how you can go there and not pay a huge amount of money for your trip. I will also show you how much or I would say how little we paid for our trip. We went to Burabay by car with my parents and my close friend. We started our trip in Astana, where my family lives. Kazakhstan has a very big territory. It's the ninth biggest country in the world and it has different natural zones. But around Astana we have mostly steppes, just the vast fields with grass that already becomes yellow and dry in July. Coming closer to Burabay, the landscape changes coming into forest steppe zone. Though Kazakhstan is my home country, where I grew up and lived most of my life, it was the first time that I came to explore Burabay. It is a beautiful national park with several lakes, mountains and forests. We decided not to stay in a hotel, as the prices were quite high. We went there in July, in the high season. We decided to go there spontaneously, so all affordable places were booked long before. We decided to rent an apartment in the village located on the Burabai lake. It was quite cheap, plus anyway we were planning to come there just to sleep. During the days we wanted to explore the area. Later in this video I will show you the apartment that we rented and I will tell you about our expenses. So after leaving our things in the apartment and having lunch, we went to explore the first place. We drove through the village before we got to the entrance to the Burabai National Park. I was very lucky that my friend knew all the best places in Burabai, so she was my private guide. We decided to hike up to Boliktau mountain to enjoy the beautiful view on the lakes. The hiking trail wasn't very hard. There was only one steep area where you have to really climb up, but it was quite short. The mountain is not very high, so the way to its top took us only 20 minutes. The trail was going through a pine forest and the air there was amazing. And from the top of the mountain you get an amazing view on two lakes, Lake Burabai and the big Chebache Lake. It's a nice place to sit, relax and enjoy the beautiful view. There was also a group of tourists with a guide telling them some legends about this region. So, according to one Kazakh legend, when God created the world, he gave the territory that is now known as Kazakhstan only arid steppe. The people were disappointed and begged God to give their land some natural beauty. In answer to their prayers, God gave them the beautiful oasis that is Borovoye region. В этих прогулках в чем самый кайф? Это в том, что э, ты поднимаясь на гору, дышишь хвоей. Это вообще это так прекрасно. After that, we went to visit another tourist site, which is called Ablai Han Glade. This is a very popular place for tourists. Here you can take photos in traditional Kazakh clothes with beautiful ornaments. It can be a photo with an eagle.
Gudra also stands with colorful souvenirs and interesting musical instruments. to hear a beautiful Kazakh song. And apart from that, there are different activities like zipline, riding a pony, archery, and you could also get a coin with some interesting design minted especially for you. And in the forest, there is a stone that is believed to be a throne of Ablai Khan. He was a talented Kazakh military leader and politician in the 18th century. Not far from this valley, there is a track that goes through beautiful forest with pines and birch trees. It leads to a cold spring with clean mountain water. Being close to nature feels really nice. And in the forest we collected some strawberries, the aroma and taste of which were amazing. In the evening, as it already became our tradition when we go to some natural places with my family, my dad cooked delicious shashlik, which is marinated meat cooked over hot coals. I personally think that this is one of the best meals ever. We cooked it on the territory of the house where we rented their apartment, and the local cat also enjoyed shashlik a lot. On the second day, we decided to drive and visit other places in Boravoy region. First, we went to a park called Agbura, where there is a statue of guardian of the forest. It is located between two lakes, Maloy Chibachi and Tekekol Lake. Most of the park is still under construction. And as we love different berries, especially when you find them in nature, we were happy to enjoy some black and yellow currant. After that, we decided to explore other lakes in the region. On our way, we saw that people were gathering something in the field. We stopped and saw that there were a lot of field strawberries there. We enjoyed their great taste and continued our trip. We went to see Maloy Chibachi Lake. The road to the lake wasn't very good, so it was nice that we had a car with high clearance. There are also tours that are possible to book where they bring you to this lake on a jeep. The lake looked very nice, with water of beautiful turquoise color. We swam in the lake, though the water was quite cold. I personally like warmer water for swimming. And we also made a picnic there. After that we went to explore one more lake, that is also located in that region. There is a small town Shuchinsk, not far from Borovoy Lake, and it also has beautiful forest, mountains and a lake the Lake Shuchi. So we decided again to do some hiking in the beautiful forest, enjoy the nature and see the lake.
the water in this lake was freezing cold. At night we went for a walk along the Borovoy lake. It was quite loud. People were having fun, dancing in the cafes. <laughs> So we made a good choice that we stayed far from the center in a quiet area. And on the third day we decided to go swimming in Borovoy Lake. There are private beaches with sunbeds where you need to pay for the entrance, but we went to the public beach, which was also cool and very crowded. The weather was nice and the water was comfortable for swimming. I heard that it's difficult for foreigners to travel in Kazakhstan if they don't know Russian or Kazakh language spoken in the country. The majority of people in Kazakhstan do not speak English. So if foreigners want to go and visit some places or go to some tours organized by other foreigners in English, it is very expensive. It can cost up to $500 for one day if you just want to go hiking somewhere. That is why in this video I wanted to show how it is possible to travel cheaper. I heard that usually when foreigners that live in Astana go to Borovoye, just because they don't know about other opportunities, they stay at Rixos Hotel, which is crazily expensive and it's not worth it. So I told you that we rented an apartment and now I want to show it to you. It wasn't special, but the price was very reasonable. It had two rooms, one room for my parents and me and my friend were sleeping in the living room. It wasn't fancy, but it had everything we needed. It was convenient for us to cook at home, also we brought some ready food with us. So for this apartment we paid 35,000 tenges for two nights, which makes $77, and divided to four people, it's really not expensive, it was $19.25 per person. I didn't calculate how much we spent on food, we only bought fruits and some little things on the market in Burabai village and the rest we brought with us. As we didn't eat in cafes and restaurants, we didn't have additional expenses on food. Though we did get some special things like honey produced in the region and smoked fish. And some southern is very tasty, which is a light pastry that can be filled with meat, chicken, cheese or potatoes. There are a lot of places in the village where they offer different tours, but as we had a car we could go everywhere ourselves. In general there are a lot of activities that you can do there. And when it comes to transportation, gasoline in Kazakhstan is quite cheap. It's 205 tenge or 45 cents per liter. So for one way to Boravoy, which is 250 kilometers, the amount of money we spent was 4,715 tenge, which is 10.4 dollars, taking into account the consumption of our car. It was 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers. 
You can see that it's also not expensive. It makes $2.6 per person to get to Borovoy. So, it is possible to travel cheap in Kazakhstan, but for this, ideally, you need to have local friends. If you have a friend with a car, you can share the gasoline costs and go everywhere very cheap. And we found our apartment on the website krisha.kz, where they had even cheaper options, but again, to agree with the house owners, you need someone who speaks local languages. It is also possible to rent a car, which will also be not too expensive. But the best way is of course to make friends with some locals, then you will be able to explore the country together, not spending too much money. Ok, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like it, it will be very pleasant for me. And I'll see you soon, bye bye!